Hello everybody, my name's Jim, and this is another tag that I stole from MJ because I'm afraid of branching out, apparently, and finding tags on my own, so <laughs> I have to take from the other channels that I'm currently watching. But this one is called the Tell Me the Truth tag, which could get a little bit scandalous, a little bit honest, but you know what? We're, we're for that on this channel, so let's just get into the prompts. Prompt number one, do your friends slash family slash coworkers know about your booktube channel? If so, do they watch? I was about to say absolutely not because I would be mortified, but one of my best friends does have a link to this channel. I don't know if she's subscribed or not, but I did give her the link just because she is an avid reader. She and I share very similar views and similar takes, and we both have very similar tastes in books as well. So I did share the link with her, but for everybody else, I don't even know if I want them to know about this channel, just because there are parts of me that I talk about and I plan to talk about on this channel that I'm not really ready for the people closest to me to know. I, I do have, a, it is important to say though, that I do have a gaming channel on YouTube that everybody knows about. So this is more of a place where I can just be my true authentic self and share my opinions and dig a little bit deeper into who I am because I am, you know, as I'm discovering books, I'm also kind of on a journey for self-discovery. I don't know. I think it's really important to have an outlet. When watching booktube videos, do you ever speed them up to save time? No, because I see the amount of time the video is. So just using MJ's video for this tag as an example, her video is 5 minutes 28 seconds. I'm looking at the video right now to see the prompts. Um, so if I know, like if I see that time, I'm like, okay, I'm committed to this video. I'm committed for that 5 minutes 28 seconds that's a short enough video i can sit here and watch it i don't have to speed that sort of thing up and if it's a longer video i don't speed it up either i just you know find something else to do while the person is talking in the background because a lot of the time youtube videos i know that people like daniel green like to be you know include impactful like scene transitions and animations and stuff like that and booms <laughs> but unless he's doing like an unboxing for example then I'll just have him in the background talking about the books he loves I don't necessarily need to speed any video up because I'm not really saving time do you watch videos from all the booktubers you subscribe to and do you watch all of their videos or just some so I do try to watch videos from everybody that I'm subscribed to. Obviously, I've watched at least one of their videos because I do not watch I do not subscribe to someone unless I have watched a video of theirs and I enjoyed it. So, every single person I've subscribed to right now, I've at least watched one video. More than likely, I've watched more than one. I can't think of a single booktuber who I'm subscribed to that I haven't watched more than one. Um, and that goes for author tubers as well. But there's absolutely no way, there's a 0% chance that I have watched all of their videos. I know, um, just using Murphy Napier as an example, I went through her videos. I binged a lot of her videos. I loved her Dear Author series. Um, I have watched every single one of those videos and have even gone back to some of them just to listen to her takes as somebody who is writing a novel. And of course, just before anybody says anything, I know that her opinions are not like the be all end all, but it is important to, you know, listen to people and listen to what they like and don't like. And I feel like Murphy Napier is a trustworthy individual who has very sound, reasonable opinions on things. And so, yeah, I do watch a lot of her videos, especially ones that are a bit more informative. But even still, even though I binged her videos, there's absolutely no way that I could watch all of them. There are some topics that she goes over that I'm not interested in too, you know, just like anybody else. So, yeah. Do you watch slash subscribe to everyone who subscribes to you or only channels you really want to see? So coming from the gaming realm, there were a lot of situations where 
people were like, hey, sub for sub. And I never got into that. And eventually it got so irritating that this is just a mindset that I have that I do not subscribe to everybody who is subscribed to me. Every once in a while, I will go through my subscribers just to see what kind of channels they have. But a lot of times people have a YouTube channel and subscribe just to be notified of their favorite content creators so that they can come back and just watch and they don't actually upload themselves. So there really is no point in subscribing back to those people because they don't upload anything. So all it would do really is litter the sidebar that shows all of the people that you're subscribed to. There really is no point in that. And two, I am much more inclined to look into your channel and subscribe if you actually comment on one of my videos. And just using MJ as an example, reading this life, she commented on my booktube newbie tag and welcomed me to booktube. So I checked out her channel. I watched a few of her videos and I really liked her content. It was short. It was digestible. She has a very human personality. So she's not, you know, all in your face, but she's also very confident in the way that she speaks. And so, yeah, I, I subscribed to her. Absolutely. Do you watch slash subscribe to booktubers based more on content or personality? I think it's a mix of both. Obviously, you could have the best personality in the world, but content that just doesn't relate to me or something that I'm not interested in. And in that case, I won't watch or subscribe. Or you could have content that's very interesting, but then your personality seems very forced and inauthentic. And I don't like that at all. Do you listen to booktube videos while doing other things or do you sit and watch the video? Um, It depends, I guess, on the time. But kind of like what I said before about speeding things up, I do like to listen to videos in the background while I'm working or while I'm doing something else. And that's why I really appreciate booktubers who put their videos in playlists so that it can auto play through um, the different videos. Kind of like how Murphy Napier did with her Dear Author series. I really enjoyed binging those in the background while I did other things. And that's more or less why I go with the podcast style, because I know that my videos run a little bit long. So to respect your time, personally, I would prefer if you would listen to my videos in the background while you do something else, because otherwise you're just going to be looking at a, a screen with some little soda pop. <laughs> sparkles floating into the into the abyss but there's really not much else to my content and I prefer it that way so the last prompt is to tag some booktubers again I don't really know anybody uh, MJ's already done this and I am not confident enough to tag bigger booktubers who <laughs> may not have done this um, so if you're watching this and you want to tag yourself feel free to do it Otherwise, I've been Jim. You've been great. Thanks for watching.